Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Shahab Aldeen. In this video, I am going to show you the top 10 hidden tips and tricks in Microsoft Windows 7 and 8. Tip number one. Say you have a lot of windows open, you want to access the desktop without min going through all these windows and minimizing them. You can come down to the taskbar, right click, click properties, click toolbars, click desktop, make sure it's ticked, click OK and you should see this icon which says desktop and next to it two arrows. You click the two arrows and this list will pop up and this list is what you have on your desktop. So you can access your computer, you can access anything that's on your desktop. And that is tip number one. Tip two. If you have multiple windows open at the same time, you want to view one and minimize the rest, you click the title bar of the window you want to keep open, you press and hold it with your mouse, shake it and it will minimize the other windows. If you shake it again, it will bring them back onto your screen and that is how you minimize multiple windows at the same time. Tip 3. If you want to open multiple windows of my computer, well first if you want, want to open one, you would double click the icon and as you can see it opened one. But if you double click again and try and open one, it won't open. It'll just keep the same one. If you try and come down to the taskbar and click the icon, as you can see, it will just hide it and show it again. The way to do this is by pressing and holding shift on your keyboard, then coming down to the icon and pressing it. And as you can see, this opened multiple windows of my computer. And this is tip number three. Tip four. If you want to access the internet from your taskbar, there is a quick and simple way of doing that. You right click the taskbar, go to properties, click toolbars, click address, click OK, and then come to the right of your toolbar. You should see a little icon that says address and next to it a search bar. If you enter an address from the internet, for example a website, and click enter, it should open the internet uh, with the website you searched. If you want to open another tab, you simply retype your website and do a different website, click enter and it will open another tab with what you searched. And that is how you access the internet from your taskbar. Tip 5. If you want to work with two windows at the same time next to each other, here's how you do it. You click the title bar of one of the windows, drag it to the side. When your mouse touches the side, let go and it will fill half your screen. Do the same with your other window. When your mouse touches the side, let go and it will fill the other half of the screen. This is how you work with two windows at the same time next to each other. Tip 6. If you wanted to select multiple fires, what you would do is press shift or control on your keyboard and click the files you want to select. But there is an easy, easier way of doing this and here's how you do it. On Windows 7, you would go to Organize in the menu, but here on Windows 8, you would click View, go to Options, click View again, scroll down, click Use checkboxes to select items, click OK, and you should see that there is now a checkbox next to each of the files. And if you click that checkbox, it will select all the files that you click the checkbox on. And that is tip 6. Tip 7. If you open Internet Explorer on your Windows, you can see that there is no menu bar. The way you get the menu bar is by pressing Alt on your keyboard, 
and it will appear but if you click away it will disappear the way to keep it there is by pressing out on your keyboard selecting the menu bar by right clicking selecting menu bar on the options menu and then if I click away it will stay there if I close the window and open it again it will still be here the way to get the menu bar away from here is by right clicking again deselecting menu bar and as you can see it went away you can always get it back with alt on your keyboard and when you click away it will go away and that is tip 7 tip 8 if I right click any file and go to send to this is the menu I get but if I press and hold shift on my keyboard then right click on the file then go to send to I get this extended menu so that I can send that file to many more places and that is tip number eight tip nine normally when you want to take a screenshot you would press the print screen button on your keyboard but what if you wanted a custom screenshot of only a portion of the screen here is how you do it if you're on Windows 7 you would go to the start menu and click search but if you're on Windows 8 like I am you would click search here and then search snipping the tool click this icon here and then you can see this little window pop up you can click new and you can see that your screen went bright and when your screen goes bright that's when you can select a portion of the screen to take a screenshot of and edit then it will open a bigger window and here it will ask you to save it you can save it anywhere on your computer and that is how you take a custom screenshot on your Windows computer tip 10 if you open calculator and go to the view menu you can see many options like standard scientific programmer and static you can go through those and investigate them yourself the one I'm going to be focusing on in this one in this tip is unit conversion if you click that you can see another part of the calculator come up and here you can select what you want to convert convert from what and then the, under the two will be the answer and that is a hidden tip in calculator and this was the last tip tip 10 that's everything for today hope you like my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh